as an alien, yeah. man. You know, you're you're on the receiving end of a lot of these freaky plays that he makes. Yeah. I mean, I used to be in awe when he would just be on the sideline throwing. But the crazy thing is that like Zach does that too. Like, you've always seen the special, you know, flash plays of him throwing incredible throws like Aaron does. And now I think you're starting to see Zach get more consistent with the stuff that he ne- he needs to be able to do on a consistent basis, and that's why it's coming all together. But between the two of them, you see a lot of special throws, and that's the cool thing about Zach is like obviously he's had his ups and downs and his struggles at quarterback, especially in any position. Like there's so many variables that go into a player being successful. The scheme, the coaches want an ability to help that player be successful. Uh-huh. How good of a you know facilitator of learning a coach is? That's why I say like coaches facilitate learning, right? Like Coach Hackett, Coach Downing, uh, Coach Rob, like. I think what they're doing for Zach from a game plan standpoint and helping him be prepared and, and understand really the offense and the reason and progressions and what he needs to do as a quarterback at this level have been huge for Zach's growth. And, uh, you know, for any position, I mean, you obviously understand, um, you know, playing at the college level, like the more comfortable you are with your assignment, not having to think and, and not have to think about what you got to do. Like you just yeah, play yeah. You're a completely different person. I mean, based on how well you know the offense and how comfortable you are with your assignment on that play, from getting in the huddle, breaking the huddle, I mean, can complete, can make you look like a completely different player when that play is happening. And I think that's kind of what you're seeing with Zach a little bit. You're seeing him really be confident in the understanding of the offense that's helping him. I think the whole Aaron Rodgers effect of someone he idolized and like did things like, but then he got to learn why Aaron did certain things, why his mechanics were like this, you know, why he checked this or why he did this. And then the confidence that Aaron has rubbing off on him. I think that's another huge thing for Zach that's helped him. Uh, and then I think lastly, uh, it's just been he feels like he has a chance. Like he got a second chance to to really show people that he can, you know, do what he needs to do to be a, a starting quarterback in this league. And I think over the last couple of weeks, you've really seen him kind of run with it and stack some good performances up with back to back 70 percent completion games. And, uh, you know, I would like to think he would have had another one last week if, you know, there's some different miscues and stuff that happens in the game, whether it's drops or penalties that really kind of affect right. First and second down with the completion percentage. I like to think he would have went three weeks in a row, honestly. Uh, and in his confidence in the huddle. Like I think, you know, from the ability to make a check or, you know, give someone something that's not part of either whether it's the right thing to do or wrong thing to do, the fact that he has the confidence to look over and say, Hey, like Gary, I want you to do this instead of what's going on. Like, I mean, that's what you want from a quarterback. Like we're all sure. we're all grown men at this point. And yeah. uh, we're the ones out there playing and you sit there and you trust your coach's scheme, but sometimes you know as a player, you gotta go out there and uh you know, improvise and do things. And he's showing all those things, mixing up snack counts, making adjustments. And so I'm just excited to keep seeing where this progresses for him throughout the season.